it's always a great time to be in Pure Michigan, but especially as we get into this fall season just ahead, it's a great time to explore the flavors of Pure Michigan. That's what we're doing on this week's program of Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz, along with Michelle Grinnell. And Michelle, where are we headed to? We are headed to Livingston County. And you know, Dave, we've been talking about wine and we've been talking about cider. So now and that's okay. And that's great. <laughs> yeah. um, but now it's time to eat. Yeah. Uh, so we are talking with Steve Pylon, who is the chef and the owner of The Wooden Spoon in downtown Brighton. And so welcome to the show, Steve. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you, Michelle. It's so, totally a pleasure being on the show. So we are excited to talk to you about food, and I know that Brighton has a farm-to-table experience uh, coming up in September. Um, but before we kind of get into into that, let's talk a little bit about the Wooden Spoon and your restaurant and um, the, the dining experience in downtown Brighton. Well, the dining experience in downtown Brighton is really kind of blowing up over the last few years. There's lots of quality restaurants. Um, I was a, a chef at a local country club, and I spent most of my career being a country club chef. And I just felt there was something missing in the downtown Brighton area, and that was really that whole let's use local, let's buy local, let's you know cook local concept. And you know we we use that philosophy here at the Wooden Spoon very very fluently. And um, you know we have dishes from thai and japanese and french and, and mexican and so we kind of really go over the whole gamma of the globe of our cuisine cuisines that we offer here uh, using local products as much as humanly possible how would you describe um you know the 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 food that you do offer at the wooden spoon um the food that we offer um we have a, a small plate section and they, they run anywhere from a, a, a china masala, which is an Indian-inspired dish, uh, to a beef short rib mojo, to um, y- you name it. And we're really kind of all over the board on it. Um, and then we also have our principal dishes, which might be a prime sirloin. And then what's really cool about the wooden spoon, particularly in the summer months, is um, we were running out of room in our kitchen. And so the next best solution, let's build another kitchen. So we actually built a kitchen on our patio, which we offer more small plates on. Now, now, where are you, you located? Where is the Wooden Spoon located? The Wooden Spoon is located at 675 West Grand River. Um, it's about two blocks north of Main Street in downtown Brighton. Well, and I think I, I'd agree with you that uh, it seems like the food experiences in Brighton have really opened up in the last few years. I've been to several uh, of the local restaurants. Most of them are kind of like uh, locally owned and operated, and uh, I, think, I think there's a great food story to be told for Brighton. Oh, there truly is. You know, over the last uh, 10 years, I've seen the, the level of, uh, particularly the local restaurants, have really increased. Um, and I, I don't know what to contribute to. Maybe it's maybe more cooking channels, maybe the caliber of chefs coming into town, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, you come into downtown Brighton, you're definitely going to get a, an awesome cooking or a, a, an awesome uh, eating experience for sure. Especially here at the Wooden Spoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, and do you, you know Michelle was uh, talking about kind of the the uh, the winery and cidery operations that we have around Michigan earlier. Uh, do you offer you know Michigan wines or or is it all kind of variety? Which we do offer Michigan wines, um, but we go very global with our wines. Um, we actually handpick every single wine we have. We have over 120 bottles that we offer on any given day, wow. um, and every one we've tried. Um, Sounds like a tough job. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? Sometimes it can be, believe it or not. You know, it's like, you know, you got to think of the weather. You got to think of the dish that it might go with. There's lots of variables with wine and food pairings. Um, Our our beers, we only serve Michigan beers. I hate to say it, but you're not going to find those higher-end commercial beers here at uh, the Wind Spoon. Hmm. Only Michigan beers uh, because Michigan is so... They've really refined what they're producing in um, beer-wise... in the state of Michigan here. Well, they certainly, we have a variety to offer, and uh, the quality is there, um, and the quantity, of course, so might as well. We're all for that. That's a, that's yeah, a good thing. You know what? Sometimes bigger is better. Yeah. <laughs> well, so so you, of course, you know, you, you mentioned that on an everyday basis, you, you try to bring in as much uh, locally uh, produced uh, product to prepare your food as possible, and, and you do have an event coming up. It's a fundraiser, right? It's a farm-to-table experience fundraiser? We do. We do. It's actually on the grounds of the Brighton Chamber of Commerce. Um, it's September 20th, and there's actually, I have a meeting right after this interview uh, for the Culinary Committee. Um, there's a few of us that have 
I'm looking at the spreadsheet, and it's like locally sourced product. And it's as I look through the menu items, almost the whole menu is so is sourced locally here in the county. And then we move out. Um, you know, that that's an important part because over the last 10 years, I've really seen the farmer's markets actually, you know, the, the traffic, the foot traffic of the, the customers buying local product and the, the level of farmers have actually increased dramatically, which is great to see. Well, it looks, I was just looking at your schedule. So Saturday the 20th, you have what's called the Growers Gathering at 6 o'clock. Correct. I'm going to have to ask you what that is. And then dinner at 7 o'clock. So what's the gathering? Is that just kind of getting everybody ready to go? It, it kind of is. It's uh, it's kind of an order past reception. Uh, we're serving Michigan wines, Michigan beers, uh, Witches Hat Brewery. I know is always on on, on track with uh, the local beer. Um, Paul Hanna, who's overseeing the, the the spirits end of things, he does a phenomenal job picking out the local Michigan uh, grown wines uh, or produced wines. And then it's really it's a an, an opportunity to meet the farmers though too uh, that are actually helping produce this whole dinner i'm i'm just one part of it you know the farmers are a a larger part of it than i am believe it or not um they're the ones that are in the fields and you know picking the tomatoes or or or, you know feeding the lamb and and things of that nature and so you actually get an opportunity to meet the people that are growing your food have you uh prepared the menu already or are you going to wait until just uh, days before to kind of figure things out no you know what we started the menu process months ago um Last year, we kept it very, last year was our first one, and we kept it very kind of locally Michigan-themed. Uh, this year, we're using all Michigan products, and we actually went very global with it. Um, you know, we obviously, we have the growers' reception starting at 6, um, which just has butler hors d'oeuvres, and then we go into a, a plated, or I'm sorry, a family-style uh, sit-down dinner. And so, yeah, we went very global. We're, we're doing... Um, for the appetizer course, we're doing a black bean and roasted pumpkin empanada mm-hmm. uh, with pickled local uh, pickled Michigan vegetables, and then we have a pasta course. Obviously, could have some kind of pasta in there um, with grilled local vegetables. That's going to kind of depending on what's really in season at that time. You know, it's September twentieth. The season starts to wind down a little bit here in Michigan, and so I'm kind of at the mercy of, of Mother Nature on that one. Mm-hmm. And then we have a couple protein courses. We're doing a, a spit roasted pork with mole. And uh, for the second protein course, we're doing a uh, pulled uh, slow cooked lamb with a Lebanese theme behind it mm. with optical turnips and tahini sauce and uh, pita from New Yasmin Bakery. And, you know, it's, it's all about what you can do with what's available locally. And this is really hopefully to open people's eyes to what they can produce if they went down the farmer's market. You know, I love the way you chefs always talk about the protein course. You know, I, I never hear you say, okay, <laughs> it's time for the beans. You know, it's, it's, we're talking, we're talking yeah, we meat pro- here. No, 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 yeah, we're not, we're not going to beans. We're, I yeah. mean, there, there's, there's some beans in the, within the mix of it, but you know, Michigan's a large producer of beans. Yeah, it's true. So. Well, that's fantastic. Well, sounds like you're going to have a, a great deal of fun, and it sounds like people coming uh, will enjoy it as well. I'm sure they will. That farm-to-table experience coming up on the 20th, uh, things, uh, kind of a reception at 6, dinner at 7, down at the Farmer's Market, and it's a fundraiser for the Brighton Farmer's Market and for the Livingston County Hunger Council. So if you'd like more information, go to the website, woodenspoonmarket.com, and uh, maybe you can sign up for that uh, fun experience. We want to thank uh, Steve Pylon, chef and owner of The Wooden Spoon, for being with us today. Of course, there are a lot of events happening all throughout the state, right, Michelle? There are, and you know, just like we have a diversity of food and agricultural products in the state, we have a diversity of events happening Hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, if fall is approaching, um, the Copper Country Color Tour is happening at the end of September in Houghton. Let's try to say that again. Um, I can't. Uh, <laughs> this is a 50K, 100K, or 200K ride around the Keweenaw Pen- Peninsula in peak color season for cyclists, so definitely uh, worth checking that out. Uh, Curtis Oktoberfest is also September 27th. The Metamora's Harvest Horses and Hound Celebration is happening September 27th. It's a community festival. Uh, it's a great opportunity for horse lovers and families uh, to, to experience that. Uh, Metro Detroit uh, is hosting uh, Delec. This is another one we have trouble saying. Delec, Delectricity. Oh, close enough. Um, on the 26th through the 27th, it's Detroit's newest nighttime festival of art and lights. Um, hmm. 
Uh, so that's like a, a cool one to check out. Um, you've got we've got Weinenstein in Frankenmuth, uh, <laughs> October tenth, or I'm sorry, October second. A haunted weekend on Mackinac Island, October third through the fifth. Oh, we're already talking about that. I know we uh, got to get ahead. You got to plan oh, ahead, Dave. <laughs> and of course, we cannot forget Art Prize kicks off September twenty fourth and runs through October twelfth in Grand Rapids. So, mm-hmm. um, be sure to go to Michigan.org. Uh, plan the next couple months. There's a ton of stuff going on uh, here in Pure Michigan. Well, you know. Halloween's my least favorite of all the holidays, you know. I, I don't like being scared. It's only one day, Dave. It is, but it seems like it's like a day that starts like in June these days. So <laughs> you go to retailers, that's what it seems like. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we've been talking about that uh, farm to a table thing. We're going to talk about feet to farm next, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at Michigan.org.